Hi guys, Neiman Dane here. Uh, thought I'd put up this little video to, uh, to show some of the work I've been working on doing. Uh, I managed to get a terrain imported in. I, I have a little uh, tutorial that I had found up there on uh, using World Machine and then creating it there and then bringing it inside of here. I'll post a link uh, in, in this post that can show you where you can go if you want to go and see how I did this. I, it, this is rough. <laughs> Bear with me. I know it's rough. Um, I just it's more of a learning process but I was happy I actually got it into the kit and actually did get it working uh, the water's being funky and um, I, I actually got to learn how to do the material and textures the textures are um, he's got near far and close so I'm gonna have to learn to do a little bit better uh, we got some black spots that are showing up something's wrong with one of my textures uh, the far texture looks pretty good for uh, for the mountains, the grass turned out really dark. I don't know what happened there. Uh, the sand is kind of repetitive from a distance. It's not too bad up close. Uh, like I said, I might have to look at it again. It's all a learning experience. This is nowhere near finished product. Uh, just something for testing and as I learned the kit. I'll go ahead and hit play and uh, we'll see our little guy run around inside of it. There it is. Alright, don't crash on me. Uh, I just grabbed a quick water which seems to be acting funny. Uh, the sand looks pretty good up close um, for the player. Uh, like I said, the mountains from the distance, uh, they have a pretty good texture to them. Uh, there's no... Uh, get them. You know how you get the little patterns? Repetitiveness, doesn't. that looks pretty good. It's the, the middle range, you know, you see right here. Uh, some of my normal maps are messed up. I'm going to have to redo them. Same way with the grass. I've done something wrong with uh, my displacement map. I've messed it up somehow. But I'll, I'll check into that. That's uh, what this is all about, a learning process. I finally did get the train in. It does have collision. We do have it in the kit. It's not set up to go to this level yet. It's still an experiment, experimental stage. Uh, but I was happy to get it in and get it working. And we just wanted to have, give you a peek, let you know that this kit can do it. You just got to put the work in. I right, won't stop that there. Uh, what's a good thing? It was teaching me this, um, this master material. You, if you follow the tutorial, he'll explain this, how you set this up. And it, it pulls a function from these other materials and then loads them up. This is actually pretty cool, uh, how I, I'm learning how this all works, put it together. Because uh, some of the, which one was it, landscape mountains, it, it, it kind of follows along with how they're setting their materials and their ter and their textures up when, they, when, when they're painting the terrain. So it's a good example. And uh, if you get time and you, get, you need to put some terrain in your uh, game, I, I would look it over. Uh, it does use World Machine. You don't have to use World Machine. Uh, whatever you got. Once it gets it into Unreal, that's the most impor important part is it tells you how to set up all the uh, textures. And he's going to tell you how to put up the normal maps, close, far, etc. So uh, if you get time, I would check it out. And... Hopefully, we can start to see some more images of some good stuff that's coming along in the game. Alright guys, this is Nima Day, and we'll catch you later. Bye.